lymphatic system, page 26 in your lab packet. Today we start out with number 375. 375 is the superficial cervical lymph node. It's located on the right hand section of the head. Again, that's 375, the superficial cervical lymph node. From there, we move to 376, the lymph vessels. 376 is right here, and it is the lymph vessels that go into the superficial cervical lymph node. From there, we come underneath to get a better view of the number 377 submaxillary lymph node. That's number 377 submaxillary lymph node. From there, we move to the torso for 378, which is the axillary lymph node. Number 378, the axillary lymph node. From there, we'll go down for 379, where we find the superficial inguinal lymph node. Again, that's 379, the superficial inguinal lymph node. Underneath that, we'll find it tagged right here, number 380, subinguinal lymph node. So superficial inguinal lymph node, and then the sub-inguinal lymph node, located right here on the right leg. From there, we're going to move over to our next number. Number 381 is the spleen. The spleen is located on the left lung, the left, two lobes inside, 381, you'll find the spleen. From there, we have a tricky one located right up here. That's 382, the thoracic duct, and it is located between the internal and external jugular veins. Again, that is 382, the thoracic duct. Now, number 383, the lymph node in the mammary gland is in the breast section. That model is unavailable to us at this time. So if you can't find it, that's why. The breast section is not available. We move to 411, the pharyngeal tonsil. Again, we go to the head model and we look up here. That's the pharyngeal tonsil for 411. Now inferior to that is we'll find 412, the palatine tonsil, number 412. So just to review, you would have your hard palate, your soft palate, and then your palatine tonsil. And that's your view of the lymphatic system for week five. Okay, good job, Linda.